fight it off all the way to the top. Watch that elbow. This is a 48-year-old doctor, folks. Pitching wedge. Let me see the club. Just want to make sure again. So nobody knows. He thinks we're cheating. Rolled out to 160, but we're going uphill. That's ball speed with a pitching wedge. What's up, Doc? Okay, so a lot of you are probably wondering, how's a 48-year-old doctor who's not super big and you know, some crazy big muscly guy, just a, he's an average sized guy. Uh, how he's hitting his pitching wedge with 113 mile an hour ball speed, which is higher than PGA Tour average. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of answers to that question. I'm going to kind of break down um, for y'all what we've done to this point and how we've been able to gain so much speed this last year. Um which is pretty remarkable. So, um, first let's just talk about his setup. You can see how super relaxed he is. You're gonna see here, if I zoom in, if I zoom in here to the elbow, you see this little move here, this little drop, okay? He was essentially hyperextending his elbow, and so I have him, this is one of, this is our micro fine tuning, I call it, micro adjusting, um, to this point because the swing is in such a good spot, but something we we're working on this trip he was down was Completely removing all tension and you'll see Dropping this left elbow down making sure his left arm is not locked at setup. It brings his shoulders down And so we're completely removing all tension from his upper body um, And then we also Something we did he had his hands um, super, super low um, towards his knees. And what I've done is I put his hands a little bit higher, which helps him fight off this backswing. Watch that elbow. All right. Let's watch that elbow. I'm talking about setup. Watch that elbow. Okay. And so as we go back, you'll see how beautiful this step one is. We're making sure to have a big full turn. You know, something that Shri really struggled with was protruding this hip to the right instead of rotating. Now he's rotating much, much better rather than sticking this hip out to the right. So we have a nice, big, beautiful full turn. You can see how balanced his lower body is. Okay. And this trip, we started initiating because we had to clean up so many things from his traditional golf swing that were just embedded into his golf swing. Um, was now starting to finally use this lower body, this hip and this left knee to start transition, right? And you're going to see this beautiful tension-free move here with his uh, hands, allowing our golf swing to let this club fall into place. As we come down, you can see the tremendous angles that he has here, right? And then we're really working on exploding from the elbows down right from the elbows down all this good stuff going as fast as possible once we get to this right knee rather than what he did before which was literally lift his shoulders into his ears okay which essentially turns our hands and elbows and wrists and fingers it essentially is like acts like a neutralizer it essentially turns them off and so removing all that tension from our shoulders through the ball, you can see now how far away that right shoulder is from his ear, right? He's able to go as fast as he possibly can now with his hands while clearing his right hip, all right? You can see how connected he is here with this right hip as we're driving through, all right? I think that's what a lot of people like about this as well is you can see how balanced this swing is, right? This isn't some hitting his back like he's swinging a driver. Look how short that finish is, right? Very controlled, which is also something we've worked on. He had an out of control finish with less speed and less distance. And now we have a controlled finish to a spot with a beautiful right side rotation, right? I mean, look at these angles still as we're coming down, right? So we eliminate this upper body tension. We're not lifting to try to help the ball. We're maximizing this right arm extension with this beautiful 
push off this right toe, this beautiful right side rotation together once our hands get to our right knee. You can see is actually even at this point his shoulders are actually a hair closed to the target, which is awesome. Helps him hit a little beautiful push draw. This whole right side is now rotating and clearing. You can see how hard his hands are going right here. You can see how hard his hands, wrists, right from the elbows down are going. Shoulders are doing nothing. We can rotate around the spine now, fully extend. Look at that maximum extension, the big high finish. Also something else we've worked on because he used to pull across really, really bad and, and essentially just slap the ball and kind of skim it. So from start to finish, Reduced all tension to zero. No hip protruding as we go back. I fixed some of his setup stuff with his elbow, which allows him to control everything in his hands now. I also um, got his hands slightly uh, higher, his right hand, so it's a little, his right hand is actually sitting on his left thumb a little bit more, which takes um, the club out of his palms. Puts it directly in his fingers, which is something I've, I'm a big proponent of and I, I believe is the way to create power and speed and control. Um, like I said, we reduced that elbow tension, big rotation rather than sticking the right hip out. All right, we fight off that set until we're ready to start transition. Lower body triggers, upper body does nothing. We rotate our right side when we get to our right knee and we release as hard as we possibly can from the elbows down. Zero effort with the shoulders to lift, full extension with that right hand, big high finish to a spot, and wonderful balance. And that's how he hit a 160 yard pitching wedge at 48 years old. Picture again. That's a 10, 10 wedge. Rolled out to 160, but we're going uphill. That's ball speed with a pitching wedge. Back to that, so you can see that again 113 mile an hour ball speed with a pitching wedge. 48 years old steel shaft. Um, pretty. What's up, Doc? That's the smile that makes me happy. And that's why I love teaching this game. Hope you'll have a great day. Talk to you soon.